When designing a system which relies on having minimum pressure to maintain the desired flows, calculating pressure drop becomes extremely important. If it is not estimated correctly, the system back pressure and pressure drop could stagnate the flow. What if you could correctly estimate the flow early in the design process when many ideas can be tested virtually? SOLIDWORKS flow simulation allows us to calculate pressure drop in a system with multiple design variations in a fraction of the time it takes to prototype and test. Let's take a look at SOLIDWORKS flow simulation and the calculation of pressure drop. Air handling systems are just one example of where pressure drop can be important. In this example, we have an inline filter and are trying to see if we can't direct the airflow after the filter to the desired opening without increasing the pressure drop. We have six different sets of geometry we would like to test. We will vary the baffle geometry as well as the diameter of the outlet flow opening. After running the wizard to get my study started, I will need to put my boundary conditions in. Boundary conditions can also vary just like the geometry configurations. I will analyze using a 2.5 meter per second flow velocity and a static pressure boundary condition on the outlet. Goals are an important method for guiding the solvers to the answers you desire. Since we are looking at pressure drop, I need to tell flow simulation that I want the total pressure at the inlet and outlet of my design. Lastly, I must use an equation goal to calculate the pressure drop by subtracting the outlet total pressure goal from the inlet total pressure goal. After running all 12 studies, I can start to analyze the results. Using Compare, I can look specifically at cut plots of the flow velocities for each variation. Bernoulli's principle says that as velocities increase, so does the pressure drop. The primary goal was to look at pressure drop. Charting the pressure drop results with Compare, we can see there are negligible effects of the geometry on the pressure drop in our design. Pressure drop is just one of many critical parameters flow simulation can solve for. You may be concerned on how airflow affects the heat energy in your system, or looking at flow velocities that can be achieved while using fluids with different viscosities for a pumping application. You need to check out SOLIDWORKS flow simulation. Well, I've run out of time for this video. My wife is asking me why we have no water pressure upstairs. As the Scottish historian Thomas Carlyle said, no pressure, no diamonds.